such brilliant fashion with time running out. It's about perfect. Let's see today's first news, Harry Maguire is very unlikely to face any jail time if he is found guilty of charges of aggravated assault and attempted bribery of a police officer, according to a lawyer in Mykonos. The German champions returned from Lisbon with the trophy after their 1-0 win, but had already warned fans to stay away from Munich airport, in order to avoid the risk of coronavirus transmissions. So Bayern Munich came home to a subdued reception on Monday after beating Paris Saint-Germain in Sunday night's Champions League final. And now the next news, Manchester United defender Victor Lindelof has been thanked by Swedish police for catching a thief who robbed an elderly woman. Swedish newspaper Aftonbladet reported the incident on Monday, after the crime took place in Lindelof's home city of Basteras, which is west of Stockholm. Gus Poyet says Frank Lampard will welcome the pressure that comes with being expected to lead Chelsea to trophies. And he said that I think Frank wants to win trophies and these kinds of players will give him the chance to get closer. Moving to the next news, Raheem Sterling will be tested for coronavirus before he is allowed to join England's biosecure bubble at St George's Park next week after attending a party with Usain Bolt, who is now self-isolating. Jadon Sancho may never become a Manchester United player if the move does not go ahead this summer, Sky Sports News Their Mesh Chef reports. Borussia Dortmund valued the 20-year-old winger at £108 million, although sporting director Michael Zork has said Sancho will not be sold this current transfer window, stressing the decision is final. Let's see the next news, Ajax midfielder Donny van de Beek is awaiting offers from Premier League clubs as he remains likely to leave the club this summer. The transfer show on Sky Sports News has been told there remains a strong possibility van de Beek will leave during the window, but he is happy at Ajax. Another news is coming that Leicester midfielder James Madison has signed a new four-year contract with the Premier League club. The next news is that Nampolis Mendy has returned to Leicester after signing a new two-year deal with the club. Norwich have completed the permanent signing of striker Jordan Hugill from West Ham for an undisclosed fee. The 28-year-old forward has signed a contract through to the summer of 2023. Big news is coming that Ronald Koeman's call at Barcelona has begun with the Dutchman telling Luis Suarez, Arturo Vidal, Ivan Rakitic, and Samuel Umtiti to find new clubs this summer. UEFA president Alexander Seferin says he wasn't happy Manchester City's two-year ban from European competitions was overturned, but the governing body does not plan to appeal against the decision at the Swiss Federal Court. Let's see the next news. Former Brazil football star Ronaldinho was released on Monday by a Paraguayan judge after spending five months in detention over a forged passport. Manchester City are working out if they could bid for Barcelona and Argentina forward Lionel Messi, 33, if he becomes available. Everton and Napoli are still in talks for Allen. Everton have offered 25 million euros, Napoli asked for 35 million euros to sell the Brazilian midfielder. Work in progress. Malang Sar has been offered to Chelsea, as reported by Telefoot. It's not a done deal, Chelsea are considering him as another free agent opportunity after Thiago Silva. AC Milan have opened talks with Real Madrid to sign Raheem Diaz on loan with buy option. Kai Havertz to Chelsea, one step away and then, here we go. Total agreement to be reached on next hours with Bayer Leverkusen. Last bid is going to be accepted. 80 million euros plus 20 million euros add-ons as final fee. So, that's all for today guys. See you in my next video.